Hey guys, how's it going? Um, last time I told you guys I was going to be working on a... Um, hey guys, how's it going? Last time I told you I was going to be working on a tile set for the game. So I think I want the setting of the game to be a cave, but I think that I tried making it brown on top, but I didn't like how it looked, so I put this like mossy, grassy kind of looking stuff on it. Um, I have noticed one issue, though, that I'm going to quickly show you how to change. First issue, all as, as well as that I made such a small space for it, because I need to make other kind of platforms based off of this and put them all onto one sheet. So I just copied and pasted it over here, and I'll be working in here. So the problem I ran into, when you make one of these tile sets, it's very important that you make it so it loops within itself. For example, with this bottom middle tile, I can show you how it loops. Looks like I grabbed a little bit too much, but that's fine. Just for this demonstration. And I put it together there, and you see that it comes together and it looks all right, you know? But it also needs to stack one on top of the other for this set of tiles right here. So let me find the corner. I think it's right there. We'll come up and grab the block. So this block is in the center. So this is going to be repeated a million times in the middle of the platform. And it works fine this way, but I forgot to check how it works on top of each other, and it doesn't, as you see. So as a quick solution, what I decided to do is I actually am just going to flip it like this. So it'll match up perfectly because it's a mirror of itself, right? <clears throat> so that's the plan. So what I'm going to have to do for that is just bring this row down and then make a copy of this row and then flip it upside down. And that caused a problem with one below, so I'm just going to add one more row. I think I still have this copied. Yes, I do. So I'll paste it again, bring it down, and it all works perfectly now. So one uh, issue I could potentially run into with this is that with it like this, I can only do odd numbers, like odd thicknesses of platforms. But I think that should be fine. I should be able to work around that just fine. So now we can make different kinds of platforms based off this one. So if we take hot, like for instance, half of the top tile, let's move it over here, and then half of the bottom, Oh, I took a little bit too much. I think I took a little bit too much from both sides, so let's try that again. All right, half the top. Then we take half of the bottom. There we go. That's a little bit better. I think I took too much here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I took too much from the top. So we'll just slide this up one more and cover that up. Or do we want to, or do we want to take one more tile off of the bottom? Let's see what that looks like. I know we can make little fixes if we want to. I think that looks all right. I might just take my brush and fill in a couple spaces that look weird. Like that. And we'll make sure we didn't break anything. We'll make sure this block can still loop. That looks all right, so we'll we'll keep it. Another cool thing we can do is if we take the far right side, and the far left side, let's 
then we can make ourselves a small pillar, a small platform for them to land on. It looks really good. <clears throat> so um, I'll keep doing this off camera. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be working on. Um, this program, by the way, is Aceprite. It's pretty cheap. You can find it for, I don't remember how much. It was probably like five bucks. But it's what I've been using for all of my pixel art. So I just pulled up my bat for you to see. I was able to draw each of these frames and see how it works. When I press enter, it'll play all the frames next to each other. And that's how I made it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>